Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this. It's currently 25 past 7 for me and I am in Tarleton? I can't remember where I am. I'm down south from where I've been out for a couple of hours now. Uh, I thought I'd do a rundown of last week, um, how we did, what we did, stuff like that, how many subbies we used, not many. Um, so let's start with Monday. Uh, Monday we already had a wagon loaded from Friday that was delivering uh, to Oxford, seven and a half ton. We needed something that could take 2.3 metres in height out of Stockport to Oxford. Uh, I had to put that down on Friday, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. Uh, right, so I actually didn't do a job on Monday. Not for not trying. <laughs> uh, I didn't have anything booked in, and I thought I'll try and see exit. Um, so I spent the morning bidding, 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 and then I thought I need to go get the van checked on anyway because I've had an engine warning light pop up. So I went and got that checked instead, and it's nothing major. Um, something needs sorting in the near future um, and then nothing, still couldn't find a job but I got a phone call from a customer saying I've got a load for you tomorrow uh, come pick it up today so I was like oh, I'll just shoot over now, I've not got anything better to do um, and then whilst that was happening I got another phone call asking me to arrange a job um, leads to Oldham uh, which we started for that customer uh, that was Monday so on Monday I went over and loaded for Tuesday, and Tuesday was, it was quite a big day for me. So Tuesday I delivered to Tunbridge Wells, and then I went over to another site in Tunbridge Wells to reload some kit. Uh, I couldn't actually get it on the van because it was too heavy and I was there on my own, no, no one was in. They just left it outside for me to do myself. Uh, so I went over to Tunbridge Wells and then I had some kit on my van still that I had to go back to Birmingham. So I took it back to Birmingham and they refused it. <laughs> uh, they refused it because um, it wasn't the model they were expecting back. They were expecting an outdoor cabinet back and I was delivering an indoor cabinet. So they refused it and I had to drop that back off in Stockport. Um, but we also had two other vans out. So one loaded the Monday for Gloucester and deliver the Tuesday morning and one loaded in the afternoon from Lutterworth also delivering to the same site in Gloucester so that was five jobs on the Tuesday three for me two subbing out which moves us on to Wednesday now Wednesday I was off uh, purposely off I was um, I was having the kids normally my mother-in-law who's absolutely wonderful has them on a Wednesday but she couldn't because she has to work the occasional Wednesday so I have the day off with the kids, uh, but we did have one job, um, it was Berry to York, which Andy, Andy P, as you all know him, he did the job for me, thank you very much Andy, uh, that was it for Wednesday, uh, Thursday we had two collections, we had a collection out of Wellingborough, and a collection out of uh, Ashbourne. And both collections were supposed to be coming back to me to be stored for today. It's the kit that I've got on the van now. But I got a phone call whilst I was out saying uh, we need to come load for Friday. Um, and I didn't have enough time to get back to mine, get it offloaded, get back in the van, get over there and get reloaded in the time they wanted me to. So they said they store it anyway. So it was the same customer. So I'll just drop that back off at there. It's reloaded for Friday. And Friday I did three jobs. So I did a delivery to Uxbridge. Then I did a delivery to Romford. And then I did a site clearance out of Oxford. And the Oxford one was quite interested because it was um, <laughs> off-road, <laughs> pretty much. They had trackway down for the delivery. They had trackway down for the majority of the... Um, like the site build, but for the day I was site clearing, clearing the site, they cleared the trackway that morning, and I got there, well, I got there about half ten, so I wasn't that far behind, but they'd taken the trackway that morning, so I had to drive through the uh, through the mud, through the fields, and get it done. 
and that was it so it was wasn't a busy week necessarily but it was a good week financially because that went that tuesday for me and the friday were really busy days and were really good earners obviously the monday i didn't make much and the wednesday i didn't make much but that's because i didn't work um but the Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, absolutely good week, good day. So that they pulled me out. So in total, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve jobs over the five days, and I worked three days of those. And in total, we used one, two, three, four. Uh, subcontract drivers um and i think all of those were booked no five including the wagon the wagon was booked through the cx and the rest of them were booked through the whatsapp group i believe um yeah and we've got another driver out today doing a job in london um can't remember exactly what that job is but yeah doing just from one side to another side one side of london to the other side other side of london yeah, so that is my week. Um, financially, it was really good takings, and because I did the majority of the work myself and didn't use that many subbies, it wasn't a massive expense to me for the subbies. Um, and I didn't do a massive amount of mileage because I only worked three days. Um, so, yeah, I've got today booked on. I'm down here, I've got an old driver, and then uh, later on, Neil and Neptune Courier will be coming down to pick up some kit for a delivery on Wednesday in Scotland that he's going to do for me. Other than that, that's about it. So thank you for watching. That's been my week in the life. Bye-bye.